Who's taking the Bantamweight title? Will it be Sean O'Malley or Cheeto Vera? See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. Ooh, yeah, man, that's a good fight. Um, Man, you know, you you always t tend to lean towards the champion. Um, I'm a huge Tim Welch fan. I've always loved, you know, love what that guy's been doing. Uh, I feel like that experience alone in that first outing is going to be what, you know, those guys end up game planning off of and, and how to kind of change that where... Cheeto is a guy where where he he's okay being down in a fight, but he always like wins the moments. Like in the Rob Font fight, Rob was piecing him up, and then he would win the moment, and then continue to win the moments, and that which ended up winning in the fight. So I think if you can control those those moments, if you will, and, and control the fight, I think um, I think Sean O'Malley will will get the job done. Mm, I'm gonna go for Sean O'Malley in that one. Is uh, yep, looking sharp. Man, honestly, uh, I'm like the more and more I watch Sean fight, man, the more and more I believe in that dude. So I'm, I'm gonna go with Sean. That's a good one. I've been watching that one. I think O'Malley wins this one, honestly, because if you look at the first fight, O'Malley was winning that whole fight. He was piecing him up. He was landing good shots, um, and then he obviously got leg kicked, and then that that turned the whole fight. But you know, I'm gonna give it to O'Malley. I got um, I got uh, Sean winning that. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of a Cheeto Vera guy. You know what I'm saying? I like Cheeto Vera more. Like I would be happy if Cheeto Vera won. I'm definitely rooting for Cheeto Vera, but um, just looking at it like analytically, like you know, just going off of you know the eye test, watching the tape and whatnot. I think um, O'Malley's a bad matchup as long as he doesn't get his uh his nerve kicked again you know what i'm saying he loses his ability to walk um he should be good man you know what i'm saying uh because in that first fight he was winning that first fight until you know uh cheeto started taking over with those low leg kicks so it, it but it'll be fun fight i think it'll be a fun fight that's gonna be a great fight sean's been looking great man um i've i've given him some flack in the past and i've always been a fan of cheeto i know cheeto personally i've met him trained with him um, so I have to root for Cheeto, but I think Sean's fighting at the level he needs to be fighting at, and he's addressed the holes in his games. So um, it's going to be a tough task for um, Cheeto because he can just get outpointed the way he's the style of fight. You know, he's going to have to pressure, and, and and he usually picks it up as the fight goes on. And so it's going to get real interesting um, if it gets past two and a half rounds i think it'll get interesting um but it's very very much a, a, a good fight i think cheeto i think cheeto wins it though i just think it's stylistically i think cheeto does things that um kind of negate some of the things that o'malley does well uh i'm gonna go with cheeto i want cheeto to win yeah i like cheeto it'll be a tough fight though man um i'm gonna i'm gonna go with cheeto man uh I think he might have his number. I don't know, but I think he's just a tough, tough guy. And O'Malley kind of comes off as a little sweet to me. He's a good fighter, though, no doubt. Great fighter, great striker. But and you know, being a tough guy doesn't always matter in a in a MMA fight. But I think he he might just have his number. That's all. Yeah, Sean, Sean's on the roll, huh? Sean, Sean's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. I, I, I'm not hating. Uh, Sean's on the roll, and uh, I, hope, I hope it continues. I want to see him go as high as he, as he possibly can go. Um, yeah. I, Though, do you think he gets it done? I, I think it's a tough fight, uh, but yeah, I, I think he beats him. I, I think, I think the limelight might be a, a little heavy for somebody like Cheetah. I'm gonna go with Shug. It's not an easy fight, though. You know, I think uh, Shug does have to. Uh, um, He's got to check, make sure he checks those kicks. We can't take any of those leg kicks. No chances of that, right? You know, no chances of that. Just take that, eliminate that right away. But if you do go back and look at the fight, though, Shug was landing on him often and pretty pretty regularly, you know? And we'll see. Is Cheeto going to come out there to fight or is Cheeto going to come out there to take his pace? Because I think that um, if he fights like he fought Sanhagen, it's going to be a very tough fight for Cheeto to even make it out of there because Shug is going to find those openings. He's going to create them. He, he builds that, so. Um, but Cheeto's one of the toughest guys in the roster. You know, you can't you can't ever count him out either. So I don't think Shug is. I think he's gonna put in the work, and I do think that he gets that job done. Mm. Fuck, that's a hard fight. I might have to go uh, Cheeto. I like Cheeto in that. Ooh, I really like both of those dudes, man. I like both of them. Um, personally, I'm a fan of uh, I'm a fan of both of them. I like, but like, 
I just I just fuck with um with with um Cheeto. I just fuck with Cheeto's vibe. I think he's just a dope person. I think he's a cool dude. But um I'm a fan of the skill set of Sean. Sean has a, a tremendous skill set that I don't think he gets enough credit for. And, um and I think I think Sean I think Sean beats him. I do think Sean beats him, but you know who knows? Styles make fight. It is, ah, uh, mate. It's hard to say. I like both guys a lot. I think, I think, I don't know. O'Malley has an uncanny way of finding the accuracy, of finding that that button, of landing those shots. He's he's a phenomenal striker, phenomenal counter striker, and I think he's, I think he's trouble. But Cheeto looks in their face off they had a few months ago. Like he, he looks mean. He looks like. I don't know. He looks dangerous. So it's hard to say. I would have to say the favorite would be O'Malley. But, you know, Cheeto beat him the first time. So and That's a tough one. Super close fight. I think it's going to be very competitive. But I'm going to pick Cheeto. Uh, I'm, this is another where my heart and my brain are in two different places. Uh, I like Cheeto Bear. I think he's a dog. Uh, I relate to that. But, uh, man, O'Malley's on quite the, the run, and I'm going to go with him. Um, and I didn't like Cheeto's, what was Cheeto's last performance, performance for? Uh, he just kind of looked a bit flat. Uh, I'm, since I'm in Arizona now, me and Sean are kind of like, you know, colleagues in a way. So I guess I got to go with Sean. Cheeto Bear. Oh, man. I really don't. I think um, I'm hoping Cheeto, but I think. If anybody's going to have an edge in a rematch, I think O'Malley's like cerebral enough that he's going to be able to make the right adjustments. So I'm I'm leaning uh, O'Malley. I'm hoping Cheeto. That's a super interesting fight too. Like uh, the bantamweight division is stacked. Uh, you know, obviously Cheeto won the first one. <clears throat> and, you know, and uh, Sean O'Malley says it's controversial, whatever, because of the he got kicked in the nerve. But that's something that happens, man. If I kick you in the nerve, it is what it is. You know, there's no excuse to be made, you know. It, it could have been the other way. If I catch you with one punch on the chin, you go out, that's life, man. And I think Chido is very durable. And I think that, you know, watching Aljo getting knocked out by Sean O'Malley, it teaches everybody a lesson about Sean. Like, basically, don't overextend yourself and don't reach for his head from too far because he's got the counters ready. He's got the punching power that it takes, but he's the kind of guy that you have to see if, you know, he can last all five rounds. So I hope Cheeto is coming in with a little bit of a more conservative game plan and not jumping and trying to kill Sean from the get-go. And he takes a more methodical pace of what Cheeto is usually known for. That's what he's known for. I hope he doesn't feel too much pressure to try to beat Sean too fast. But Sean can get you out there at a moment's notice, man. One touch, it could be all over for anybody. So that's what's super interesting. You have to watch that fight, man. I don't, I don't know anybody who's going to miss that fight. That fight's going to be very interesting for a lot of different people. And uh, I'm definitely going to be watching that card. 299 is stacked from top to bottom. It's really, really, really great card. Do you think O'Malley can do it? Or do you think Cheeto, because of the durability, might be able to get it done? I, yeah, I'm giving the edge to Cheeto. Uh, because mentally, he's coming in with the win already over him. And I think in terms of like uh, patience, Cheeto has it in spades. Now it's gonna be like, what can he do? What's he gonna do fight night? And listen, I think Sean O'Reilly is great. I think his striking is phenomenal and all that. I just think over time, Cheeto can just break him down over time. Oh man. I, I think Sean loses that fight. Yeah. I think he loses that fight only because I feel like he's not focused at all. You know, he's not focused at all. and. And I feel like he, he lost it before. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like it's one of those type of things to where he gonna lose the fight. He's not focused. Then he, he, it's like I said, it's unrealistic being in the UFC uh, down playing people, you know, people uh, abilities to to finish you and get you out of there. I feel like you have respect to everybody standing across from you. Um, and I feel like he just he just you know enjoying too much of the you know that 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 that, that sugar that sugar you know what I'm saying he enjoying too much of it he's not in the gym enough he's not working enough and I feel like he's sleeping on he's sleeping on this guy and this dude not sleeping on him and that and that's just a bad mix you know what I'm saying so it's like it's like you get to a point where your head get too big for re reality the reality is anybody that step in that cage on that level can put your lights out or can get you out the cage out of there any any time you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, and so I feel like he's gonna lose that fight. Is it because his focus? He could have asked me. Yeah. Oof. 
I think Sean Molly got him this time. Oh man, this is an interesting, interesting matchup because Cheeto Vera is as durable as they come. He's one of the most durable, just forceful people in the Bantamweight division. You know, him and Peter Yan are two of the most, they're, they're built like a brick shithouse, man. Cheeto is so durable. You know, I, I'm friends with Davey Grant and, you know, Davey was telling me when he fought Cheeto, you know, he smacked him with an elbow <laughs> and his elbow cut. Um, it just goes to show you, man, uh, how durable he is. So it's interesting because uh, Sean O'Malley has been going like this. You know what I'm saying? Cheeto has had a little bit, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's won, then he's lost. And you know what I mean? Some, you see some lapses in, in winning, but again, styles make fights. You know, I think stylistically, um, if O'Malley fights the way that he fought Peter Yan, he will do very well. But I, I do see um, Cheeto just, being a force in there and getting the job done in the later rounds. Um, I don't I don't know that my biggest issue was that with O'Malley is that he's, he can be a little frail at times, meaning um, he gets he's prone to injuries. You know what I'm saying? Hurts his knee, hurts his leg, hurts his arm, things like that. Uh, so I'm going to go with Cheeto. Um, I'm gonna, I, I think Cheeto will hurt him. I think I don't think uh, O'Malley is durable enough to withstand the force of Cheeto there.